So what is it about these molecules, the structure of these molecules that cause the plane polarized light to rotate about its axis? Before we answer this question, let us take some uh, everyday objects and play around with their mirror images. Let us bring in a ball which looks like this. We bring forth a mirror and let's take the mirror image, the three dimensional mirror image of this ball. What can you see? Do you think they are identical? Well, we'll check it out. We'll lift the mirror image of the ball and try to superimpose on top of the original ball. Can you see that point for point, each point on the three dimensional mirror image is able to exactly superimpose on top of the original ball. We define this superimposable mirror image object relationship to be identical as in they are an exact replica of each other. Let us bring a chair. Let us do the same exercise. We take a mirror and we take its mirror image. Again, a three dimensional image. We lift this image, rotate it and carefully place it on top of the chair. Can you see or can you assess if the mirror image is exactly superimposable on top of the original chair? Let us try it out. Let us check point for point if they match. We see that as we lower the mirror image on top of the original chair, there is an exact match as in they are identical. We'll repeat the same exercise. We'll bring in a slightly non-symmetrical object this time. We'll introduce the same chair, but let us bring in a small, a quirky difference. Say a writing pad on the right hand side of the chair. We bring in the mirror. It's the usual exercise. We take its image, lift the image, rotate it and try to slowly lower it and superimpose on top of the original chair. Take a few seconds and see if they are an exact match. Let us take these points. Are they an exact identical match? Are they able to superimpose on top of each other? Not really, are they? A small introduction, a small quirky difference here made all the difference. So the initial chair was actually right handed. But when we take its three dimensional image and try to superimpose on top of the original image, original object, we see that the image is left handed. There is an inversion. We define objects whose images are not superimposable on top of the original object to be chiral. We define the object mirror image relationship where the image is non superimposable on top of the original object as chirality. The word derives its meaning handedness from Greek origins. And those objects whose mirror images are exactly superimposable as in the mirror image happens to be identical to the original object, we define them to be achiral.